Well, authorities are investigating a death involving a man and a dirt bike in the Prentice Cooper Wildlife Management Area. A TWRA spokesperson says a motorcyclist found Robert Micah Boaz in what appeared to be a dirt bike crash off Sulphur Branch Road yesterday afternoon. The spokesperson says Boaz was wearing a helmet. His body was taken to the Nashville Medical Examiner's Office. Now, this was the third person to die in the past three days while on an area trail. Well, Cornelia Nicholson spoke with the Signal Mountain Fire Department to learn more about their rescue and recovery operations. As the weather warms up outside, you definitely want to be careful on the trails because you could end up like our intern Katie and needing to be rescued by the fire department. A lot of people uh, come outdoors as the weather warms up. We get a lot more calls of lost parties out on the trail. Uh, and then sometimes that turns into a rescue just depending on where they're at. Signal Mountain Fire Department Captain William Maxwell says trails on the mountain have plenty of overlooked spots. We don't have barriers up at any of the overlooks that would ruin our natural beauty so but people get too close to the edge and that causes a problem that's where we have an issue. When they get a call from 911 about someone lost or missing in the woods Captain Maxwell says they try to get the coordinates of their last known location. We start the, the easy place first. We locate their vehicle uh, and then we go from there. Hopefully if we get a location, we can go directly to them. If someone is down below the cliff and the fire crews need to rescue them, Captain Maxwell says a firefighter with medical equipment will rappel down to evaluate the person first. If they can't walk, that's when they send the basket down. Our intern Katie Stevens volunteered to be our victim as Captain Maxwell and his crew demonstrated how they rescue someone with a basket. So they're just tying in our victim here to secure them to the basket so, so we can bring them up a cliff. They're just simulating that. Uh, several um, straps that go across the body. Once the person is strapped into the basket, Captain Maxwell says they use a rope system to pull them to the top. He says each rescue can vary from six to eight hours. So if we have to hike in a long ways, obviously we have to pack all of our equipment. We have to pack that equipment into the site where the rescue is to be performed. And then we're talking several hours of an operation. We have set up time. We have to get personnel down to the victim. We have to secure them into the litter and then recover them back up the side of the, the cliff. Captain Maxwell says to avoid needing to be rescued like Katie, make sure that you have plenty of water, sturdy shoes, and if you do get lost, call before it gets dark. On Signal Mountain, Cornelia Nicholson, Local 3 News.